What's cracking, big dose? Welcome back to the channel. We've got some breaking, 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 like animal soul sort of breaking news. Will Fuller, wide receiver extraordinaire of the Houston Texans, has been suspended for six games for violating sub substance abuse policy. Some substance abuse policy policy six games do the math we're about to be in week 13 13 14 15 16 17 oh i wonder if that carries over into next year could affect his stonks going into 2021 drafts yeah I'm, I'm assuming it will be unless they make the playoffs i'm not sure if that counts for the regular season i'll stop mumbling huge impact for fantasy of course because will fuller has been a fucking phenom this year I have him in e-town get down he's coming off this monster game on thanksgiving he was a legitimate wide receiver one in fantasy Every sense of the word, okay? 11 games so far this year, 75 targets, 53 catches, 879 yards, eight touchdowns. And that is with a game in there with a fucking donut because he was basically a decoy. So his per game numbers would have been phenomenal this year. Clear cut wide receiver one, big hit to a lot of fantasy teams. What are we doing here now? What are we doing? Do we hit the waiver wire? Here's the problem. Kenny Stills is no longer on the team. Randall Cobb is on the IR with turf toe, maybe worth picking up. Brandon Cooks clearly becomes a top target in this offense. Brandon Cooks has been uh, something of a of a revelation since we got since we got uh, Uncle Bill Uncle Bill O'Brien out of the picture here for Houston. <sighs> Five for eighty five, week twelve. Five, four for eighty five, week eleven. Down game six for thirty nine, week ten. Week nine, three for 83 in a touchdown, seven for 60 before that, nine for 68 in a touchdown before that, eight for 161 in a touchdown before that. He's been very good. He's been very good over the last two months, over his last six, seven games. He becomes the one there. This is going to impact the entire offense. Sean Watson has been playing fucking lights out as well. This is going to hurt him. Like those 40 yard touchdowns that pad his stats by, you know, six, seven, eight points or whatever that's giving him those ceiling things are not going to come as easy. Defenses have no one else to worry about on the passing side of the ball besides Brandon Cooks now. So is it worth grabbing Kiki QT? Uh, admittedly, he was a prospect I really liked coming out of school. And he was a guy who played really well in his rookie year for a really small sample size. But ever since then, he has done nothing but disappoint. So if you're going to go out there and get cute and grab Kiki QT, I think you could spend your money better elsewhere. I like one. Here's the thing with QT. It's like you need to first see it on the field in order to feel comfortable. He's had chance like week 11. He got on the field. He was playing four targets, two catches, 10 yards, got into the end zone. That's the only reason why he's even on the radar right now. Last week, he got another chance, three catches, two receptions, 17 yards. So he's played in three games this year. His yardage totals have been 11, 10, and 17. Key QT, explosive player, fun guy, good athletics, could be the slot guy, but uh, not anything I'm getting more excited. He's like literally like a wide receiver, five, six in the rankings. He's going to be going forward. Where, where I think this kind of gets interesting is maybe the tight end position, and we also have to see what happens with David Johnson now. Do they work in Duke and David Johnson more into the slot, into the receiving roles? Because David Johnson, three games, going to miss because of the concussion. I believe he's been out for um, – how many games has he missed already? I think he's missed two or three, so he's got to be returning soon. Maybe they shut him down for the year because if it's a serious enough concussion to keep you out for three games – it might keep you out for the rest of the year. We'll have to take notes on that. But I think this will be an increase for Duke Johnson if David Johnson continues to miss time. So we have Randall Cobb again, IR. We have Kenny Stills not on the team anymore. Will Fuller out for six games. So we look at the tight end picture, and it's Darren Fells, it's Jordan Aikens, Kahali Waring, not playing. Uh, it, it's like nothing exciting here. That's That's the problem. It's like we've been doing this dance for three fucking years, and at some point you've got to move over. It's like me. You got to move from the Millie Rock onto something new. Like, I don't want to do it. But listen, you can't keep fucking trying to make Darren Fells a thing. Darren Fells has had his good games. He got hot for a little bit in the in the middle of the year. Weeks 5-6, he goes 2 for 57 in a touchdown. Then 6 for 85 in a touchdown. Then he puts up a zero. As soon as you want to start, that's the, that's the they're like the Naeem Hineses. They're like the James Whites. They're like these players. They're like pass-catching backs on the tight end spectrum. As soon as he has those two big games, right? He has one big game, you go, I'm not going to be fooled by that. He has a second big game, and all of a sudden you go, Yes, yes, like that's 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 the fucking guy I want in my lineup. My tight end spot, put him in, fucking zero 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 across the board. Then you never trust him again. And he's been putting up fucking duds for the last three weeks as well. So to be honest with you, there's not a lot of fantasy impact to take away from this. I guess if you want to do a speculative speculative ad on Darren Fells, you want to do a speculative ad on QT, that's fine. I do like this kid 
he's like their wide receiver five and he's gotten like no play time this year but he was someone i was intrigued by in the uh in the process in the prospect process coming into this year his name's isaiah colter c-o-u-l-t-e-r fifth round pick out of rhode island 22 years old but his athletics i'm gonna throw these up on the screen for you from playerprofiler.com and all of these athletics on playerprofiler.com are completely free for y'all to check out. So I would do so. They also put like cornerback wide receiver matchups weekly for free, playerprofiler.com. So this is profile, 445, 40 yard dash, 76 percentile speed score. So he can contribute in the slot if they need him to, and he can get onto the field a little bit. But again, like very, very speculative. We're fucking reaching over here for guys just because we want something to happen. I think what's realistically going to happen is it's just passing offense is going to take a big step bite. Okay. That's what's really going to happen. It's it's the outcomes for this are realistically stonks up for Brandon Cooks, but I don't see him. I mean, he's not going to, I don't, he's not taking over that, that Will Fuller role. Like he's not going to be catching monster passes down the field and being like the main deep threat. I do think it's a little bit of a boost up because his volume is probably a floor of like nine to 10 targets going forward. So Cooks stonks up. Anyone who had Will Fuller, like RIP fucking stinks. Uh, anyone who has Deshaun Watson, I think he'll still be fine, obviously, for fantasy. He's been so good. He'll get it done on the ground. doesn't really matter. Uh, speculative ads, I guess, would be Kiki QT, would be Darren Fells. In Dynasty Leagues, I think it's worth looking at Isaiah Colter. Duke Johnson should see a little bit more involvement in the passing game. But other than that, it's just it's just, it's not a situation where someone else steps in and it's going to be fucking lights up, lights out. I'm out, all right? That is my shitty analysis on will fuller and the situation in houston just wanted to get some breaking news out for y'all if you want to see where brandon cooks ends up in the lineups or in in my rankings we do rest of the season rankings which y'all can find on patreon patreon.com forward slash b d g e y'all know the word rest of the season rankings my weekly rankings dynasty rankings q a live streams all the good shit found on patreon.com forward slash b d g e i will drop the video tomorrow on risers and fallers for rest of the season running backs wide receivers, all the good shit. Make sure you're following us on the socials listed right there. I'm out. I love you. Enjoy Monday night football. Can enjoy Tuesday night football. We might enjoy Wednesday night football and then Thursday night football. I'm not against having football every fucking night. I'm not against it. Tuesday night football, greater sign. Wednesday night, Thursday night football. Actually, eh, fuck a Wednesday night football. Maybe one day off to separate our minds from the beginning of the week till the end of the week. I'm about to go separate my mind with a margarita because it's the beginning of the week and we always start our, our beginnings of the weeks off the margaritas, okay? That's it. I'm out. I love you. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed.